Hey everyone, Eggman here with another deck profile, or should I say another two deck profiles? Ooh, yeah, uh, we I made a, like a Slug Armies deck like a, a, about like at the beginning of the set six reveals when the Slug stuff came out, and I'm like, oh cool. And then uh, now that there's more, been more stuff and just stuff I want to add to and all that, uh, I'm making a second revision of it. And so there's two ways to do it. Uh, one is just kind of a more mono green version, and uh, with the other one being more of a kind of uh, blue kind of agent of destruction feel so really both really cool decks and pretty viable in my opinion but let's let's start with the mono green version uh, but before we do just so you don't know uh, or in case you don't know so what Lord Slug does is it's kind of like the set one blue Vegeta but uh, yeah it's an active main once per turn choose one card from your life uh, add it to your hand then this card gains critical for duration of the turn uh, and then it's a draw two liter at four life or less. When you flip it over, it does not keep critical, so that's something to note. But on the awakened side, when this card attacks, draw one card, and then also place one card from your hand um, in your drop area, your opponent chooses one card in their hand, place it in their drop area. So essentially, what this deck is supposed to do is uh, it's just supposed to, you're supposed to get a lot of hand advantage at the beginning, and your opponent's not, and then you just kind of trade cards one for one in their hand until they don't have any options to play. And that's kind of the way to do it. Uh, just really aggressive, and uh, it just, you know, Slug really just promotes that and all the cards around him, so uh, there's that. And so uh, in addition with just being a pretty good leader in that regard, uh, it got a lot of support in this, this set six stuff, so... Uh, let's go into it. So first, the really big card is Wings, the morale booster. Uh, it's barrier, and then also uh, you can only have one of them, but uh, you reduce the energy cost of all Slug army cards in your hand by one. So uh, it just really helps a lot of the energy curve that Slug had uh, issues with in the beginning. Uh, another new card from set six is uh, Zuin, the loyal. Um, this card's also really good. It's a free blocker, which is all right already. But uh, additionally, since this is such a big bond uh, engine, uh, just being able to play stuff for free to help get your bond requirements is really good. So uh, both really excellent cards. And uh, so on top of that, we've got uh, for the Slug Army stuff, we've got um, two, four of the Lord Slug Return to Form. This card's great uh, because it searches your entire deck for a Lord Slug card for with an energy cost far less. So if you're turn two and you haven't found your wings yet, you can play that. But also that's able to play or find your Lord Slug uh, young again. And you can play this on turn three if you went turn one wings, turn two Lord Slug, and then this turn turn three, which is great. Uh, or if you need like uh, Angela, something like that. Uh, just really powerful. Um, just free search, to be honest. You can search itself if you want, but uh, really powerful there. And then also uh, in Danic Warrior, Angela is probably uh, the, one of the best cards. It's critical, and then with Bond 2, uh, you also snipe a card out of their hand. So really powerful. You, you pretty much get two cards out of their hand with this card when it attacks. So uh, really, really great card, uh, really powerful. And you can get it for free with uh, Lord Slug Young again. So Bond 2, when you play this card, if you lead your card is Slug's Army, choose up to one Slug Army card in your drop area with energy cost of three or less and play it, then choose up to one of your energy and switch to active mode. So you even get to untap, which is great. So if you have this out in Wings on turn three, an excellent play is playing this getting uh, Endonic Warrior and Angela out for free, and then you still have an energy out in case you need to do something else for you know kind of some flex play. So really good there. Uh, seems really solid. And then also there's the, the six drop. You don't play this as much, and if you don't want to play this card, don't, to be honest. Um, if you don't, I mean, some people probably don't even have it, but it's not super great, and you, you don't always play to it, but um, if you get it off, it's really great. Um, it's an EX of all for two on a Lord Slug with energy cost of four or more, and also bond three. Uh, when you play this card, choose up to three part cards um, from your opponent's hand and place them in the drop area. Since you choose them, it's random, so they don't get to choose with cards, and dropping three can be really devastating at times, so pretty good. Um, it's just sometimes hard to get off, so there's that. Uh, and then also, uh, to kind of fill out the rest of the green for this deck, I decided to go with the uh, Chila. Uh, and kind of just freeze it for stuff. So this is one of my favorite cards. Maybe it's not great, but I love it. It's an auto uh, when you play this card, draw one, but also for two, uh, two energy, one green, uh, one colorless. Uh, choose up to one green freezes army card with energy cost two or less from your deck and play it, then shuffle your deck. So this card is kind of like a plus two. You get to draw a card for one energy, and then for two energy, you get to play a card for free. Um, and when I say for free is you don't have to use the card in your hand, you get to play it from your deck, which is arguably like a lot better than playing it from your hand. So uh, the targets you can get it from that, you can get Chile the Beautiful, which can offer a lot of pressure down the road for blowing up their cards, but you can also just get Speedy Partner Limo in case you just really need to get a card out of their hand. Uh, both great cards, they're also both 15k, so that's nothing to shake at, and uh, just, you know, some additional card destruction in that regard. So. 
Uh, the only the only card I would try to find room for, and maybe you can just take Titanic Ambition Lord Slug out, but since we're such a critical deck, um, and we need kind of a way to get rid of, uh, or kind of end the game, I could see like having a Champa or a Kitten Power Supreme Kai. Uh, both of those probably be good. Uh, I, you know, if you want to take Lord Slug out, I think that's fine. Something else uh, people might not like. I have two Assimilates here, and mostly these are for finding Lord Slug itself, or also our Super Combo. I'm not running. Um, I'm not running Paragus just because I felt like this super combo was better, and since we could search it, that might be a little bit cheesy. Paragus might just be worth it. Uh, so if that's if, you know, if you feel like that, go right ahead for it. But being able to consistently have like two more copies of this card for turn two feels really good. You really want to play this guy in turn two. So uh, it's he's just super powerful and sets up the rest of your turn. So uh, lastly, we also have uh, Lord Slug Agent of Destruction. So. This this can be played for two if you have wings the morale booster out so that's really powerful um, and uh, also uh, for one green energy or so one it drops one card from your opponent's hand when you play it which is great and uh, but also for one green energy you can play a Lord Slug Army card with an original cost of three or less other than this card and play it so you can play for free or for one energy you can play Angela which is uh, always great or you can play this for one or. What have you? I mean, if you have wings out, you can play it for one, anyways. But just getting uh, Angela out for an, an easier energy is uh, is pretty good. So, all all, uh, all in all, um, really strong and uh, powerful deck in my opinion. Also, sorry, I, we also have Toa. Toa is really great just because it's an overroam and you get to pop a card from the hand for free, and then you get your leader plus five k. And so, if you're not even awakened, you're you have a fifteen k crit, which is nice and overall powerful there. So, this is this deck, and if we go to the the uh, blue green version of it. Um, a lot of these cards are similar, and most of the ones that we add are uh, just some blue, and just for more support, but also uh, a lot of it's just to add uh, Bobby Overseer of Destruction. Uh, Bobby is really great for uh, just re uh, additional re card reduction, so if you have Wings and Bobby out, uh, this Lord Slug only costs one energy, and then you can play other cards for one energy, so that feels really good. Uh, you can get this out turn two if you have Bobbity and Morales out. Um, I mean, you can still get it out. You can get it out turn two no matter which one of these you get. But also, on, in addition, you can get this out um, on turn two by playing Wings turn one, Bobbity turn two, and Lord Slug turn two as well. So Because it only would cost one. Bobbity, um I guess I should have said it earlier, but as it's Barrier, you can only have one. So it's kind of like Morales, but... Uh, and you can also, all of your Agent of Destruction cards lose their specific energy costs, and then you also reduce their cost by one. So, normally you wouldn't be able to reduce this cost past the two green specific, but since Bobbity erases all specific energy costs, you can get it down to one energy. So, uh, there's that. Uh, some kind of flex cards we have is we have Janimba, Agent of Destruction. This is just really for adding pressure. Um, technically, this card is a two-drop because... Um, it untaps one card, uh, one energy at the end of your turn, so you play it for three, but you get one card energy back. Uh, it's critical, so a big 20k critical is nothing, you know, too shabby, and then also, uh, send this card to your owner's warp, you draw one card, and you, your opponent places three cards, so you do get a cycle as well. And, uh, similar to, uh, Android 13, so you can also play this for two energy if you need to, but it's critical, and active main for two, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it, then your opponent chooses one card from their hand and places it in their drop area, so... Once again, a big 20k crits, nothing to be really shabby out, you know, especially if you do it for two energy, but uh, additionally just being able to have the flexibility of just drawing something and one of their cards in their hand for two energy seems really good. So we've got two of him in there, and since he's also green, we can play it for free, or not for free, but we can play it for cost, and it's not too bad for that. Uh, other than that, uh, we added Sensu Beans because we're a blue deck and having some flexible energy on a non-untap leader is really crucial sometimes, so Sensu Beans is the best at doing that. Uh, and I think I think that's about it when it comes to changes. Once again, uh, you would probably, you know, I, I'm going to say you should take Titanic, uh, Titanic Ambition Lord Slug out for, I'm going to do it right now. We're going to do it live. We're going to take it out for uh, East Kai. Where is he? Right there. We're going to do that for Titanic Ambition Lord Slug. We're going to put two of him in. I think he's worth it, um, especially since we have so much crit going on. And our leader has crit, and we just we just have a lot of flexibility with that. I think it's it's definitely a uh, a must in this version of it. So um, there's that. So anyways, that's that's it from me. Uh, I I know Matthew Combs made a, a post recently about uh, Lord Slug. Um, I don't I'm not subscribed to him, uh, so I haven't seen the post, and so I don't think I copied off him. If I did, just call me out. But I all these decks I've been working on for a while, so I di I didn't inherently. 
uh, do that. But uh, yeah, these these I think are really good. And I think Lord Slug will have a really good chance of showing uh, like some uh, some cool stuff in this next set. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you all next time.